Alright, hello and welcome. Um, so I assume that uh, if you're watching this, that you've purchased this amazing avatar that Rosillo has created, and you're looking to add an outfit, a spiffy outfit to him. Uh, maybe something like what I have in the bottom corner here with my, um, my little avatar, my version of it. So, if you're interested in doing this, uh, follow along. Uh, I'll try and keep this as short to the point as I possibly can. Um, but the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have all of Rosillo's uh, Rexorium avatar is working properly. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure you have this uh, this Rexorium avatar is Unity VR Chat version AV3. Uh, download that file. Uh, you also need to make sure that you have a up-to-date copy of Unity based on what VR Chat is looking for. So VR Chat has a current Unity version section that you can go to, and uh, in here it says that it's 2018.4.20 F1. That will change um, with time, so you need to make sure that you go back to VRChat and find out what the newest version is, and then when you click on this link, you can actually download it directly from there. So, all right, assuming that you have all of that, uh, there are a few other things. Um, my uh, the, This outfit requires dynamic bones, um, so you make sure you get dynamic bones. Um, I have a, uh, a version here that I've exported from Unity Back, and I'm, I'm going to import it back into Unity, but normally you'd actually import this uh, directly within the within the asset browser um, within Unity. We'll get to that in later. Uh, Poi Tune Shader. This is optional. Uh, you don't have to actually have this, but uh, if you want to have uh, moving lights or effects, uh, you will definitely need to have some kind of special shader. Uh, you're welcome to use anything you want. But, uh, this is the one that I default configured everything to. Uh, the SDK, this comes from VRChat directly. Uh, you go to their website and then you can um, you can download and install this. And then My Files, which is the Rex Rave outfit. Alright, so assuming you have all that, I'm going to put that on the side here. And we're going to create a new Unity project. So, you're going to create new with a drop down so you can select the version uh, 2018. 4.20f1. Click on create. And then here, name it something. So we're going to call this uh, like uh, Rex Rave Outfit Test. And it will create it in whatever location you'd like. This does take a little bit. I don't think I'm going to be speeding anything up here so you guys know the actual time frame it takes to approximately to actually uh, start a new project from scratch and be able to import the, uh, the outfit and get it set up. Uh, it's really not too hard to do. Um, I'll have to see when I get this done how long that actually is. So I, I've changed my windows here, but uh, the it, it doesn't matter how you have the windows laid out. Uh, you can put it whatever windows you like up there. Uh, this is just my preferred layout. <coughs> Now, you want to make sure that you import things in the correct order. So, very first step should always be the SDK. So, it, what I do is I just drag from here into my window, uh, and it will ask me to import these files. And make sure that you have uh, everything selected, so you can scroll through it, or just check the All button and then click on Import. Some of these take a little while to actually load, unfortunately. <clears throat> when uh, when VRChat is done and loading the SDK, it's going to pop up with this uh, like welcome screen, basically. Um, we don't need this uh, pretty much ever. This is just for documentation links, so we're going to close out of that. And next, you need to make sure you load Dynamic Bones. So, same process. And then click on All, Import. That one should be a little faster. It's going to keep popping up this window every time. Uh, the next thing I would suggest importing is the tune shader. Just kind of a 
some of these don't really matter which order you import them. Um, I always find it a little easier to import all of the uh, the dependencies first and then import the actual files that you'll be using. <clears throat> Tune Shader will also open up this Thry settings. Um, this is a an add-in for some additional options and things like that that I'm just not going to use. But it's still going to pop up. again. Alright, now you should import the uh, the Rexorium avatars. This one is a pretty large file too. So let's make sure everything's there. Click on all and import. If you already have an avatar that's working, uh, you actually don't need to do any of these steps uh, except maybe the Poyami shaders um, if you want to use those. Now, we should drill down into the avatars, into scenes. So that path is assets, assets, avatars, personal characters, Rexorium, scenes, rigs, and then he has this file here that is, the, is one that's an optimized file and one's a uh, full file. So this will just set up the scene for us, so we can double click on this. It should load in all the army of T-posing Rexes. Uh, and then you have to choose which type you like. So they all have different tails and things like that. Uh, this is all included in his documentation. We're just going to be covering how to get an outfit on this guy. So uh, I'm going to choose one that's actually not in the center. I'm going to hide the rest of these guys. Uh, let's choose a foxtail one. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide all of them except for... Uh, I don't know, let's pick off fox 2. Alright, so we just have one of these guys showing. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have him completely in zero, zero, zero space. So in the top right here, there is position, and uh, there's some numbers in here. Don't put zero into the scale, but uh, put zero into everything else that's not the scale. Now, believe it or not, you actually could upload this avatar as is. I'm going to open that window to make sure that it actually says it's okay. So, yep. He, uh, he looks like he's ready. I have no uh, no errors or anything like here. I could click on build and I could upload him right now. Um, so if you already have an avatar working, start from this step. Next thing you want to do is you want to import the rave outfit. In this file, um, make sure you have everything selected as well. Click all, import. It's going to add a um, it's going to add a section for clothing related to the Rexoriums. As time goes on, I'm going to add more and more clothing, and um, these will be placed under the same folder directory, so they should all end up together. Uh, so there's Rexorium Clothing Rave Style, and then that's where the files for this specific outfit are. Uh, you're going to click on Prefabs, and this is where the majority of the work is going to happen. Um, for this demonstration, I'm going to choose the, um, the full outfit with everything. 
Um, but if you just wanted the pants, or if you just wanted the shirt, if you just want the vest, or you just want whatever, uh, they're all here separated, and they all should work individually. Uh, or in conjunction, the unfortunately the way VR chat works is if you were to like let's say mix and match here and just make an outfit from maybe the collar and the sleeves and just a couple other things here, it wouldn't be as optimized as it possibly could be for VR chat and it might yell at you. Um, so I tried to make the most obvious combinations uh, and then optimize those. Uh, if you want to, you're welcome to mix and match and then just have an unoptimized version, or you can um, you can. Uh, just uh, move these back into like Blender or something and re-optimize them and that kind of thing. Alright, so we're going to take the Rave Clothing. So, next thing we want to do is we want to move this into our scene. So we're going to take this file, drag it. Uh, now normally I drag it into this area here. If you drag it into the open world, you can kind of place it wherever you, whatever you want. Uh, I find that this makes... it's harder to find it sometimes. <laughs> so I place it over here, and then it adds it uh, right in zero, zero space. Um, now if for any reason you imported it the other way, you would have to uh, re-zero this these files, so you'd have to take zero 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 zero. Um, we're going to do a few things with the um, with the avatar that m you might think might break this, and I'll show you how to not do that. So, for example, if you wanted a shorter avatar, so let's say you wanted an avatar that was um, 0.8 instead of 0.1. You see how it kind of clips through there a lot. Um, we're going to fix that in a second. Um, let's say that you wanted an avatar that had maybe some of these um, feminine looking curves to her. Um, I'm just going to pick whatever, whatever pops out as me. Uh, let's pick like, like female legs. Um, some other ones. There's a bunch of things in here. Uh, the chest, make the chest kind of come out some. Maybe you want to make the head different or whatever. Okay, so you, you've made your avatar the way you want it. Um, that's actually okay. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna find that it might clip at first, but there is a way to fix it. So now we have a version that's uh, very different than our other our outfit is designed for. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to type in the scale to match the other the other avatar. So 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. We're going to type in 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Uh, and now they line up. Um, I don't actually don't see any clipping, even with the options I've chosen, but uh, sometimes, especially with the fat options, you will definitely have clipping here. Um, that's okay. So if you want to fix the clipping issues, next you have to go to Place Under Rexorium. I've named these based on what you're going to do with them, not necessarily what they are. Um, so the names look a little strange, but uh, it's just to make sure it's helpful for you. So you can take like the feminine waist, uh, and you can actually pull this in some if you want, make that belt smaller. Um, you can you can mess with all of these. There's some fat modules here, things like that. Now the next thing you're gonna notice is that the belt is now floating away from the or the belt the belt loop is floating away from the ex the excess. Um, so under each of these here, especially under hips, you're going to find these... It's like belt offset this. I put all caps, trying to make it as obvious as I possibly can. Um, so what you can do here is you can move this until it lines up again. Alright. And um, now it lines up again. Uh, so it's going to stay like that. You don't have to worry about that. Once you've moved it in place, it'll stay like that. Um, we'll, we'll talk about animations here in a minute afterwards. But uh, for right now, this is just the base, the base setup. So now, we've moved that. We've gotten everything, all the blend shapes like we want them. Basically, we've now customized this outfit to match our avatar. Now we want to actually make it follow the avatar. So the next thing you need to do is right-click on Rave Clothing. And you need to unpack prefab. Do not click on the unpack prefab completely. That's a different option. Uh, just the unpack prefab. And then you're going to open the armature for your model, and you're going to find each of these. Um, there's a there's a whole bunch of these, so we're going we're gonna to do them all in, in a video here with us, but um, you've got to find everything that these match under. So anytime it says place under with a, with a little something afterwards, you're going to have to move that item to place it under the other. So, for example, place under Rexorium means place this under the main the main avatar. Now we're going to place under knee, uh, left knee. 
So left knee to left knee. And left wrist. So that's under left shoulder, left arm, left elbow, left wrist. So I'm going to place that on the wrist. This might get a little ugly looking for a minute. Uh, left elbow, left arm, right wrist, right elbow, right shoulder, right arm, uh, chest. Make sure that it actually shows the... Um, so like, can we do the next one? So you can see how like here, it's not really highlighted. It's it's just got that little line there. That's not really what you want. You need to actually have it highlight the whole row, um, the whole item, and then let go of it. And it'll place it in the correct location. Uh, spine. Neck. Left shoulder. Don't mix up your rights and your lefts. That will look crazy left leg, um, right leg, make sure I have right leg open, do not, right leg, right knee, and then the ear 2L is for the ear piece, um, so that's going to be under head, ear L, ear 2L, right there, place that under there. All right, and now all you have left is this um, this one item that's just called Rave Clothing. You can actually delete this. And now everything that we need is attached to our avatar. So if I go into play mode and click on the scene, um, I can actually move this around and you'll see that everything kind of jiggles and bends and does its thing. Um, we even have some collision with the uh, with the pants, which you'll find if you do this in game. Uh, there's some collision there to prevent everything from uh, from clipping horribly. It's not 100%, but uh, it's it gets it started. All right, so now you have everything all set up. So technically, you are done. All you have to do now is go to VR Chat Control Panel, and then go to Builder. Um, and then click on build, but uh, it looks like it has some problems with the uh, blend shape setup. I just click on auto fix this. And then click on publish and build for Windows. Uh, from there, you just enter your information, then upload it, and you're done. Okay, so small addendum. Uh, if you'd like to change the type of shader that is on your avatar clothing, um, so for example, if you want to swap it to a standard shader so you load properly for everyone instead of just when they enable shaders on you, then you'll need to change the type of shader as applied to this outfit. Um, this can be done by clicking on the place under Rexorium, and then near the bottom there is a material section that might be hidden like this. You'll need to expand that, and uh, by default it's going to have an element zero uh, Rex outfit Poyami. Uh, this is how it controls what type of shader you're using. Uh, so what you can do is drag in the material for the Rex outfit standard into that spot, and when you do that, it's going to swap it to a standard shader. Um, these aren't quite as spiffy. Uh, there isn't quite as much avail availability to do different things on them, so you're not going to see anything move, but it's still set up to look the same. Uh, it looks a little dim in here, but it'll look the same in the game. Uh, now, the last thing is uh, you can also change that by changing the type of shader here. So you can actually just drop down here and then go select whatever you want, uh, and then change it to whatever type of shader you want as far as other custom shaders. And that should pretty well cover everything you need to know. All right. Uh, otherwise, that should be all you need to do. Um, let me know if you have any problems with the setup. And uh, if any issues arise, I'll uh, make changes to the files and fix them that way. All right. In the meantime, thank you so much. See ya.